and you'll see why. I rode it on a plane from Seattle to Newark. I'm reading it today from a publication by the University of Washington. How do I tell you? For every teardrop, there are 10,000 stories. Historical, important, sad stories. Some my children have not heard. I haven't told them. I didn't want to break them. How do I tell them about Zimmerman? About acquittal? And a young black boy shot to death when all he wanted to do was taste the rainbow. How do I tell them, Sterling Brown, about the gray days and dark nights when they came by tens? How would my children view their friends? Nikki Giovanni, how do I tell them, my children, of not having when they've always had what they needed. All of their food comes from grocery stores. They don't have any idea about removing ticks with fire after running in the fields. How do I tell them? What are the new blues, Angela Jackson? These children have miles of shoes and the pantry is full. James Weldon Johnson, they know not of the stony road we trod. They have not weary feet. They are the bright stars we have cast. How do I tell them of our past? Do I tell them, Randall, in bedtime stories? Once upon a time, there was a bombing in Alabama. What about the charred bodies and the party goers' remains or the postcards that celebrated the black blood stains in the grass. Richard Wright, how do I tell them that? How does one utter words when there is no sweetness in them? How do I blemish my children's hearts? How do I tell them, Langston, about colors outside the rainbow? Will they still learn to read about Boogie the way you learned to do when a dream was deferred for you? These children are from instant gratification, from an eye paradise world. They are not blue, Terrace Hayes. They are not blue. This question is for Gwendolyn Brooks. If my children never loiter while the bacon burns, nor stand up on hard ground, will they still learn to sing? How do I tell them? Should I tell them, County, of the incident in Baltimore? Is it fair to their gentle, loving hearts to speak of such atrocities? Should they know which walls racism built up? What will they gain from true stories of men being drugged behind pickup trucks, spitting boys at Cambridge, citizens hosed down, leaders assassinated? Will they cry themselves to sleep? What will they dream of, Dr. King? Miss Sanchez, Will you help me to sing them the ancient warrior song? To sing if their brothers or sisters should ever fall? Aye, aye, aye. Maybe some people will say that the world has changed and that bloody racism was a long time ago, but it wasn't a long time ago, it was just a moment ago. It's just that now, time moves faster. Maybe Remica L. Bingham helped fry that chicken and pack those brown paper sacks for marchers headed to Washington, Baltimore, 1963 was arguably a long time ago, but Rodney King was just a moment ago. And there are other reasons to cry, other reasons to write poetry, other reasons have etched history since Remica L. Bingham packed those brown paper sacks. It's just that now we forget faster. My children, perhaps you know some too, skip along in their bliss, unaware that colored children ever had a reason to fear, or that freedom was not accessible to everyone, or that voting 
wasn't always optional. How do I tell my children about citizens dying to vote? Nikki Giovanni, I thank you for every word you've ever written. Tell me, what method do you suggest a mother tell these stories? Should I sing to them a love song about brothers who struggle to be free under the foot of Uncle Sam, who maybe don't trust brothers and didn't trust brothers still to be somebody for somebody, even though all the brother is trying to be is what he was promised he could always be? truly free? How do I tell them? Mr. Steptoe, my children don't understand about working from can't see to can't see. And although you picked up the pieces, can my children even begin to understand your ancestral song? I want to tell them, but I don't know how. Maybe the barbers would keep the stories alive. Maybe the barbers will whisper it between hooplas and laughter. But what about my daughters? How will my daughters know? Do I tell them while they learn the recipes of grandmother? Honey, get the big pot. Did I ever tell you about how mothers will liberate their children by way of death? Or uh, just a pinch of that, honey. Did I ever tell you about Uncle Rodney being killed by those cops? If I tell these stories, will the grieves be bitter? Perhaps the chronology of backs over Sunday dinner would be better. <clears throat> the backs were beaten with whips. The backs were beaten with billy clubs. My mama lashed our backs with switches. She didn't know no better past the peas. Lucille Clifton, how do we get the children to listen or die? To let them know what it feels like to see a mother's face turn to water under white words, but not cry themselves. How do I tell them and still see them smile brightly, still hold back their head in laughter, still marvel in their creation, still love themselves, their people, and all people? Miss Dr. Maya Angelou, ma'am, what is the responsibility of poets? Are we all historians, teachers, both other? After we share with them our pain, so that they know, do we raise them up again? If we paint their feathers, will they still fly? I, with my heart beating like a warrior's drum, still young, relatively, still a dreamer, still a realist to a lover kind of poet. Want the knowing that allows children to cry with the knowledge that soothing is coming. I want my children to know the struggle but not live in it. How do I accomplish this? How do I tell them? Thank you, you've been a wonderful audience. So we're gonna see. I'm, if he gets this right, I might have him do tell me everything up here to win.
That's important to know, right? Am I, we got that right? All right. Now, we got another gift that Tamar has. What is this? It starts with a K. Not, not, you didn't get it? This, I, I, I'll let you get away with just describing it. What is this? It's the Unity Cup. So who got it? A lot of people got it right, right? You got it right? You got it. Oh, we got to get it a little harder than that because we give too many people know. Let's see. I'll ask you a, a, another question. Let's see. Let's see. Who, who is the founder? Who's, who started Quantum? You know?
So that's a dialogue. I'm not saying that this is going to solve all the problems, but it's a way to engage with young people to have them participate in their upbringing. And this is, you know, I'm sure lots of people who you are and what you think about this. Uh, my name is Dave Rosen, and I'm a pastor. Pastor, I was born and raised here. I left Patterson on the strength of finding myself, and I did. And I'm grateful that I'm able to come back and add something to the community. Uh, I was asked to introduce the speaker uh, at the first concert, and in the midst of all that, I had no idea what was coming next. I'm finding out that this thing is all about value, principle, substance, hope, joy, peace, and I love it. All right, all right, let's get out of here. All right, I think he deserves a book. I think he deserves a book. Whenever our family communicates, we should reward. Communication sometimes is difficult. This is why I'm trying to bring out people to communicate with the family, because we're family. Don't be afraid to communicate with your family. Do we give our all our gifts yet? Yeah. We give our all our gifts. So we have to wait until next year. It's a, it's a fundraiser uh, birthday party to have famous in the case. Um. New Jersey. I also have some movies. Um, the movie Think Twice, Little Gangster. It was made. If you would like to make a donation, this is Kwanzaa. We're not putting a dollar on it. If you don't, you can have one. But we are trying to also do another movie called Guns Down. Take it to the ring. And some of you guys, I would love to have you be a part of that. The movies are over here, Ramu, my nephew Ramu will have them. So if you like, you can see. You can take a picture of it Ramu. now, but let me try Thank to get you. the lighter. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah. We have committee members, I'm just gonna mention those folks. Is can it out? Please yeah, try. It. Is it out? Yeah. Also, I'm uh, told that you can come and get dessert now, so please. Just jump up there and talk. There's no problem. Get some dessert. Jammy. We got lots of food, and we need folks to take it with them. So right, let's see if we can find another. We have just give it up for the committee. We have Kalina, Michelle, Queen. We have okay. Mohammed, and All right, I'll see if I can get a match or something. But you can get a picture of it. And these are family members right here. We got my mom, my mother, Mrs. McDaniel, Janet McDaniel. We have over here. Ruby Cotton, Councilwoman yeah. Ruby Cotton. Yeah. We have, you already heard from uh, Jamie Bland. We have Nancy Greer. These are the people, the leaders in the community, folks. You gotta clap it up for them. We have Brother Bilal, who you already heard from just earlier. We have Brother Kwan. Cool Kwan, my man right there. Please give it up for uh, Tim. Tim D. 
Dixon right here, Rashawn, we call him Rashawn. Tim, Rashawn, Dixon. KC, KC, Melvin. Myself. So please join us and contact us. You go to our website, our web pages on uh, Facebook, Quanta Week. All one word. You can search for Quanta Week. It's coming up, and then we're gonna close with Chief Booty after that. Right. Jumpstart, come on up, Jumpstart, let's give Jumpstart a hand. Yeah, it could blame, blame. Play slowly. Play slowly. Okay. Play slowly, then I come in.
seven this and that. We're going to do the seventh harambe. And as always, in the last harambe, hold it, drown me out. Just hold it as long as you can. I'm sure you'll be longer than me because my wind is about 13 and a half microseconds. <laughs> Strive for discipline, dedication, achievement in all that you do. Their struggle and sacrifice can gain the strength that comes from this. Build where you are and dare leave a legacy that will last as long as the sun shines and the water flows. Practice daily. Umoja, Kujichagalia, Ujima, Ujamaa, Nia, Kuumba, and Iman. And may the wisdom of our ancestors always walk with us. May this year's end meet us laughing and stronger. May our children honor us by following our example in love and struggle. And at the end of this year, may we all sit again together in larger numbers with a greater achievement and closer to liberation and a higher level of human life. On three, job, play, two. Harambe! 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 Harambe!